Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I put up a vote last night saying what kind of videos you wanted to see this week and over 50% said hairstyling, so here we are. <laughs> Let me explain how we ended up at this point. So I am a TikTok addict, as we know, she's got a problem. And I love seeing what beauty products, especially hair tools, go viral on that app. A few weeks ago, the only thing I could see on my For You page was hair rollers. 80s roller hair was just going completely viral. I think it's because people are looking for a cheaper alternative to the Dyson Airwrap. I'm just looking for things that would give me Victoria's Secrets hair. Just the big long hair. I just loved it. I'll insert some photos. This is what I'm going for. And the girls on TikTok, they were getting the hair I wanted from these rollers. Basically, I wanted that and I don't want to buy an air wrap. I've tried the air wrap. I didn't really rate it. I'm just not like the time I did try it. I couldn't even really get my hair blow dried straight. I don't know if it's made for curly hair girls. I'm really not sure. And it's like 600 pounds. It, it doesn't appeal to me but rollers did. So after seeing it trending, I went straight to Amazon and this is what I bought. So this is the Remington Professional Prolux Curlers. This is the like storage heater holding box it comes in. There's like all kinds of things like, oh, we've got like grip technology and a cool design, etc., etc. <laughs> Heats the curls from the inside and outside, providing long lasting curls in five minutes and it's meant to last all day. But first, I think it's worth mentioning that I have tried this three times and it has failed every single time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I'm trying to do it the exact same way that the girlies on TikTok were doing it and getting gorgeous hair and it just wasn't working for me. I was putting the rollers onto second or third day hair. The only thing I hadn't tried is doing like a wash, blow dry, immediate rollers routine. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm really trying to give these rollers the absolute best chance because I ordered these thinking I was gonna have great hair in five minutes. My face, the first time I used them, I should have filmed it, I really should have filmed it. It had like one curl and the rest fell straight in five minutes. Second time, it fell straight in 20 minutes. It just never ever held a curl, ever which is ridiculous because that is the one thing it's meant to do. <laughs> so I have 10 more minutes to wait until I take these out of my hair and we find out if this worked. But first, let me just quickly show you the process of washing, drying and applying these to my hair so you know exactly how I did it. Let's go through the process of everything I did. So here we have our lovely curlers in the box. It does look cute. It's a very big box, but it does look cute. Each one is individually heated and comes with its own clip. My hair is freshly washed and has been towel dried for about 20 minutes in a microfiber towel. For products, I'm applying Tresemme heat protection, obviously, my favorite Moroccan oil and a new product I'm trying out, which is Incredible Milk by Milkshake. I've got a few new things from them and I will be doing a review video, but if any of you want that, quicker let me know in a comment so i can boost it to the top of my reviews list so i applied i think four pumps of moroccan oil i've got very long hair it needs multiple pumps and then i sprayed in some of this incredible milk i'm still figuring out how much to put in my hair and then on top of that heat protection and then brushed it all through my plan was to blow dry and then immediately put the roller in. So I separated my hair, I grabbed my Revlon drying brush thing and I went for it basically. To roll the hair, first I wrapped the bottom of my hair onto the roller and then just slowly rolled it up and applied the clip. The problem with doing this that I quickly realized is that I kept getting my blow dry brush stuck on the heated roller and it just wasn't working out. So I decided to take out the roller and just dry the first layer of my hair and then I was gonna apply to the first layer and then just do it layer by layer. Before I applied the rollers though, I quickly went over each bit of hair with the blow drying brush again, just to make sure everything was hot, warm and ready to style. 
when I went to separate the next section of my hair, I quickly realized just this, I'm gonna have the same issue. Like the brush is gonna be going everywhere. The sections are gonna be going between the rollers that are already applied. So I gave up on this idea and I just decided <laughs> to dry the rest of my hair and then go back in with the curlers. <laughs> I sticked with the same technique, reheat each section of hair with the blow drying brush and then immediately apply the heated roller, clip it up and just do this over and over again. Reheat, roll, clip, reheat, roll, clip until I was done. Pro tip, make sure everything is clipped securely or else you'll end up like me in these clips. And then I left this all on for one hour. And that is how we got here. I'm actually excited. I feel like if they're ever gonna work, they're gonna work now because I really have put the effort in, but I just thought they would be easier. But let's not stay in the past. Let's just move on and make these hair curlers work. <laughs> okay, so my plan of action. I'm just gonna take them out. I'm not gonna touch them. I'm just gonna let them sit there. And then once they're all out, we're gonna review the untouched curls, decide, am I gonna brush it through? Am I gonna comb it through? Am I just gonna like be instantly disappointed? We do not know yet, but we're about to find out. First curler is stuck. <laughs> it's going extremely well. I don't get how it's stuck. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. That's a good start, but I've been here before and my hair lied to me and it fell out five minutes later. So. <laughs> I am not gonna get excited yet. Let's just keep going. We've gone from stuck to ultimate escape. Give it a little curl. So far, the best curl is at the bottom and I just remembered the bottom was where it was in for like half an hour longer than the rest because of the whole should I curl it now or not tobacco? But yeah, so maybe they need an hour and a half. But everything else is lo it's looking decent. It's looking decent. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. I think the hair is getting stuck in this bit, which is like how you put them on the prongs in the holder to, um, heat them or charge them or what? heat them. It's not a charge. It's a bit annoying because I feel like it's pulling at the hair as I take them out, which isn't helping. Not gonna lie, I feel like the bottoms are dropping back straight already. Stunning. For velvet coated rollers, they are just, they might as well be Velcro. I barely touched it. And that's straight. <laughs> I know some people would be like, oh, it's wavy, but I wouldn't even count that as wavy because like, obviously I need to like move my hair and like get it where I want it to go before I hairspray it. But like, it's gonna be straight by the time I get it to where I want it to go. This is exactly what happened last time. Every time I touch it, it goes straighter, every time. I just wasted another hour of my life with Remington. I love that for me. Okay. I know what some people are gonna say. They're gonna be like, oh, but it has a lot of volume. I'm gonna clarify that as a curly haired girl, my hair made this volume itself. I do have natural volume. And especially the way that I dried it, like I couldn't really get the closest to the roots. Like I've dried them decently, but if you have curly hair, you know that if you don't like put tension on your roots and straighten them out as you dry them, they do dry curly and then that creates like some good volume. So if you're looking at this and thinking, oh, that's great volume, just know that it was not the rollers. It was my hair. <laughs> the rollers are meant to give me some big loopy curls, but it's it's been two minutes. You guys can see how quickly this just cascades into disappointment. I'm gonna put a bit of um, hair oil on. <laughs> I just wanna 
say, like, I really don't go into this thinking, oh, I'm going to be really negative about a product or a brand. But like, if it's bad, I'm going to tell you. There's a lot of bad stuff out there these days. So I'm using this um, Everyday Hair Gloss Oil by Bread. Really liking this so far. And I'm just going to wax some of this onto my hair. I get better curls out of my hair when I sleep with it in a bun. I've got a short of it here, right, from a little hair accident a while ago. And it is the most curled bit. So maybe this isn't long hair friendly, but that doesn't explain all the long hair girls on TikTok who got great hair. I think this is just not my hair friendly. This isn't what I expected to get of a full head of heated rollers for an hour after a blow dry. I was expecting at least a curl, like at least a curl that kind of like, a curl at the end, you know, like that little flick. I was expecting anything, like this in my mind is waves, but not even like full on waves. This is like a, a, a swish, it's nothing. Considering I've spent literally hours doing my hair today, like for what? Like there's bits on this side, like that is dead straight. What was the point? Hairspray actually couldn't have saved this, and I know that because last time I tried to do it and I did get a few curls for like 10 minutes, I hairsprayed the crap out of them and the curl just wasn't in my hair enough, you know, like it just wasn't, it wasn't gonna happen. Hairspray can't save everything. Does anyone have any advice on how I can make these rollers work? Because this is my fourth time trying and I'm normally good at hair. Like, this is why I'm like, oh, they just must be crap, because I'm good at hair. Also, what do you guys think? Like, give me all of your thoughts. I want to know. Be honest, be brutal, tell me everything. Even if it's like, JD, you're crap and you did it all wrong. Tell me everything in a comment, because I am going to either give these away or put them on eBay within the week if I can't figure out a way to make them work, because the whole, the box is chunky. Like, <laughs> this whole thing. Especially when it's full, it's chunky, like it's taking up space for what? So it can just be bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, either leave a comment or give it a thumbs up. Those are the two things you can do to help my channel the most. I think I'm not even gonna ask people to subscribe anymore because I don't need people to subscribe. If you could just like like and comment or even just like, that is fine by me. And then when you miss me, just come back and then you can subscribe then. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.